One of the most popular career paths you could ever take as a YouTuber is graduating from the University of Mr. Beast Clones. With Mr. Breast being the biggest creator on the entire platform, it was only a matter of time before the horde of imitators would scurry to the surface. You'll probably notice over the years how some channels have moved away from more traditional commentary videos and into the realm of Mr. Beast challenge videos. And for some reason, they all talk like this. It's really annoying. The thing is, if you go on their channels, they all have the exact same thumbnails as well. To be fair, I will give credit. Some of them have actually managed to carve out, you know, their own little corner of the internet. For example, ZHC, who mostly does videos where he customizes cars or iPhones, general gifts, and then gives them to friends, family, or fans. If you don't know who that is, by the way, he's the guy that has the RGB paintbrush in every single video because he did it one time and it juiced. And then he thought, okay, if I don't put it in every single thumbnail, I might actually fall off. But then you've got the dark timeline of Mr. Beast clones. For example, Matthew Beam, who's a, a lot less original. If you were to tell me that Matthew Beam was Mr. Breast's long lost brother that was separated from him at birth, I would 100% believe you. Because look at their thumbnails side by side. They are basically the same thing. At some points, he just completely gives up and puts Mr. Beast in the thumbnail anyway. Well, we have this trash can right here filled with all of our extra foam. I'm going to go dump it on air. I don't know if I've ever done this. You know, at like parties or conventions and stuff, you can hire people that are like, I don't know, the Joker or Donald Trump. For Mr. Beast, you don't even need to do that. You just need to go onto YouTube and find these people. Today, we are not talking about Matthew Beam or these other Mr. Beast clones. That was just to give a bit of context. But today, we are talking about some world-ending drama between two Mr. Beast clones, Tyler Oliveria and Brent Riveria. It, it almost sounds like a similar name. I, I don't get that. Now, Tyler is a YouTuber sat on around 2 million subscribers, but Brent, bro, he has like 25 million subs. We are talking like Minecraft dream levels of clout here. Now, even though Brent has 25 million subscribers, you probably don't know who he is. I mean, I didn't, to be fair, until I started doing research on this video. That's because he comes from the TikTok side of the internet, the wholesome side of the internet. He started off his career on Vine, which is always like the biggest red flag if you hear that someone came from Vine. I think we've had the Paul brothers come from Vine, Lele Pons. I don't, it's usually the, the origin of a villain backstory, but like the YouTuber equivalent. Now, if you go onto Brent's channel, he will get millions of views of video and he does the same Mr. Mr. Beast challenge-esque kind of stuff. But even though he gets good views, his dislike ratios are horrible. Now, you know YouTube have recently disabled the ability to view dislikes. That, uh, that's that been a thing for a minute. But I have an extension that lets you see the dislikes. They're not good. The dislikes on most videos, like for example mine, it's usually on a ratio of like, you know, 99%. So just under 1% of people actually dislike the video. But with Brent, it's like 40, 50%. And it's only gotten worse after. Now, what brings us to this explosive finale? Tyler, the smaller YouTuber I talked about earlier, he uploaded a video called Brent Rivera called the cops on me. And what happened is Tyler was staying at the infamous Shining Motel, which is a hotel where, you know, The Shining took place, the actual film set, but it is an actual hotel, the Overlook Hotel from the film. And Brent Rivera was there as well with his, you know, all of his cronies and stuff. And apparently this is a really common thing because obviously, you know, it's meant to be a haunted hotel. So it attracts TikTokers, YouTubers, so many people that just want to make quick content out of it. I mean, I remember a couple months ago, Danny Gonzalez uploaded his own video going to the hotel just to prove that ghost hunting, stuff you see on TV and YouTube that, for example, Shane Dawson does, is mostly BS. It's great to see how these two Mr. Beast clones operate so differently. Tyler, for example, who's filming this, it's from his POV. It's only him and his mate who's a cameraman. But Brent, he has this entourage of like producers, friends, multiple cameramen, audio people. It's like you've got Tyler and his one guy and you've got like 15 people in Brent's squad. And the confrontation is just so unneedingly awkward. That's Brent Rivera calling security and then the cops on me after I asked him this. Do you fake your videos? No. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. What is happening? Chris, they're the video where she's pranking. Who? Josie. Who are you people? What do you mean? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? Last name? Yeah. What is your name? Dom. Name? Drew. What are you guys filming? Uh, hotel video. What is this? Who are you guys? Are you guys hired by the Brent Rivera group? 
Maybe. Okay. Anyways, this is weird. We caught everyone off guard, apparently. But they caught us off guard. They almost shit our pants. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it. Because we all know his videos are fake and he steals everyone's ideas. I have a question for you guys. Do you just hire these people? We don't know who those people are. And unsurprisingly, they made a cameo in Brent's newest video. It's almost like they know each other. Yeah, have a question? Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Do you fake your videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, okay. Have fun, guys. I love how this YouTuber confrontation is as awkward as pretty much any YouTuber confrontation you can imagine. It's almost like you're sat there in the shower, you know, having this argument in your head w with someone who isn't even there, thinking how you're going to win, and you come out on top, this 100 charisma check speech argument. And then when it actually comes to it, it's just awkward silence and looking around and some passive aggressive snide remarks. So after that really awkward confrontation, Tyler leaves because in a couple minutes he's got to go to a presentation in the hotel where they're gonna you know show some ghosts and stuff but of course because of the uh because of the size of the hotel brent is also there and his crew start throwing snide remarks to tyler oh god brent rivera's right there hey uh go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers we get that louder uh, you don't have, you have a directional mic on my camera Hey, we're, we're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours. Okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. not let's not be. Okay, that's reasonable. Be disrespectful. Okay. Well, you guys are shit talking the iPhone though. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. What, what disrespect? I literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us? Like enter our space. I I paid four hundred dollars a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, but yeah, if we were normal guests. That would whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Normal Dude. guess. You think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being? You've ascended the human. Back up. Wait, what are you? Wait, who are you? You're harassing our tours. No. You need to back up right now. Fun. Dude, get moving. Have fun, guys. We're not harassing. I want to say hi to my favorite YouTuber, Brett Rivera. He totally doesn't fake his videos, and it's totally awesome. Hi. Why are you having trouble speaking? I'm nervous in front of my idols. What do you mean? It is so cringe and deucing. Look, I, okay. One thing I want to point out: Tyler is not the good guy here. He's not the protagonist. He is being a bit of an asshole. But to be fair, it's not ever like Tyler's disarming him and being a nice guy. He's just being a complete asshole back. Like at one point, Tyler or one of his cronies says, "Have fun with your 100 subscribers." <laughs> The thing is, people like this, they give all YouTubers a bad rep. All YouTubers. This is why no one respects us. Now, what happens after that? They go on to their own separate tours. Tyler goes onto his tour. He shows a montage. You can see some pictures of him. He does not look happy at all. You can tell he's just sat there fuming that he was spoken down to by Brent Rivera. And then when Tyler retires to his room, he's, of course, sleeping on the exact same floor, the exact same corridor as Brent's crew. So there's just... Uh, uh, it, 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 it's really bad. Did you guys finish your video? No. Oh, we're not gonna be able to finish it then. What do you mean? I'm sorry, they're gonna come and get, get you guys. They're gonna kick you out. What do you mean? We paid $375, right? I'm sorry. I'm not as rich as you, bro. This, this is the third time you harassing mean, us. Stop. Don't harass us. Whoa, 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 whoa. You recorded me. I'm recording you because you guys are coming up to oh, us okay. every single second of the day. Whoa, we walked in. We're on the same floor. Right, well, he's coming now, so I mean, you guys are just gonna have is to. This... Look at the guy behind you. It's a. You... What do you mean? Who is that guy? Why I have you... no clue. Listen, this is our personal <laughs> space, and you're, you're recording inside. Right, you closed the door, and then you opened it and whipped out the camera. Really? Because you guys are literally outside of the. No, no, we were on our way to the room. Roll the clip. All right. Is that you? Look, I know Tyler's being an asshole. He started the confrontation, but that shit eating grin Brent has, like, oh well, you're gonna get you're gonna get thrown out, buddy. You're gonna get thrown out the hotel. And this is where the situation devolves even further because security, they've got security on site, usually to deal with the, the influencers arguing with each other. Security comes up, he does not give a shit, and he is based for that. He's essentially gotta do a Cole Phelps and break up an argument between two e-celebs thinking they're in the right. I just want to put it out there that this security guard has a harder job than playing FNAF on 2020-20 difficulty. Listen, are we... <gasps> Is that Brent Rivera? Hello, how you doing? We just got a call from down the hallway about getting harassed. We were getting harassed by those guys. Well, whatever's happening, yeah. I know that this is going to be the end of it or else I'm calling them. For sure, I agree. So can I inform you of something? What's up? So we literally exit our hotel, two girls are standing here. I nearly have a heart attack. That's no good for you. Okay, got this it. This is Stanley, what can you got say? Got it. All right, you guys yeah. keep it safe. Tell them maybe to not put little girls next to our room. That's my only request as possible. I've seen this clip like three times. Like, I don't understand how that's the original argument. Like, he's been so clear. He's so clearly been stunlocked. It's like, you've gone from complaining about Brent to now saying, 
Oh, the hotel makes me uncomfortable. There's some there's some weird shenanigans going on in this hotel, guys. And you know, the most haunted hotel in all of America, which is why most people stay here because it's the most haunted hotel in America. And then the security guard, which, you know, I do not blame him for, basically said he's had enough and he just ends up calling the police and then getting uh, Tyler and his mate kicked out, probably because it was easier to kick Tyler out than to kick out Brent and his like, you know, 95 other cronies. And to be fair, his family probably own half the hotel at this point. I'm gonna ask you to pack your stuff, for sure. Um, can I propose a compromise? No. No. The SDSPD is on the way, so you have until they get here. For sure. Unfortunate. After packing up our stuff, security ushered us out. And then we met the police downstairs and they said this. Yeah, I appreciate both of you have been very cooperative sure. and compliant with us. And I appreciate you yeah. being reasonable about it. For sure. My apologies. Sorry, guys. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, Brett Rivera, my number one enemy right now, and you suck my ball. The best thing about Tyler doing that little expose, who's basically trying to voice a bunch of other Mr. Beast clones who have called Brent out publicly or privately for stealing their content and more importantly proving that his videos are fake and it goes to show because Brent actually uploaded his own POV of the hotel and you could just tell how fake it is whoa wait this one's scary what the hell ow what oh <laughs> oh my god what? oh my god what <laughs> One thing I never understand about these influencers is how like on TikTok and on YouTube, they will have tens of millions of followers like monolithic. But then when they go onto another site, like for example, here on Twitter, they have no clout. He's got 2 million followers. That's really good, by the way. I, I, I'm, I've only been on Twitter for the past couple of months. I'm on about, I think, 250,000 followers. But look at these likes. That's a promotional tweet. Doesn't really count. But when he tries to post something, 600 likes, 400 likes, 900 likes, 100 likes. What's the best TikTok? <laughs> Jesus. It's already been 3% of 2023. Let that sink in. Oh my God. So true. So, so true, Brent. So true. I I've always found that a little bit weird. But to be fair, if you mainly build your content off of shorts and TikToks, your audience are actually unironically going to be like five years old on an ipad and they don't really have much of a point of using twitter so yeah but uh it it's so great to see though mr beast clones fighting amongst the scraps Connection terminated.